Building Performance Workshop, Home Performance Channel. Here we go, Chris Lomergins, show us how you close the door. I'm not taking any chances, <laughs> so, so we close down to this rubber right. gasket, yeah, and then he pulls- There's a rubber gasket here, and there's, oh, it runs across it. <laughs> Squeeze it. Make sure that's pretty good. Awesome, that's and you guys, this lighting is so bad, and it's because we're in a building that has no light. So let me just show you around here. And you can hardly see, my God, I'm so sorry. Whatever, it's, you can see the metal framing just like we had everywhere else. We do have in this closet right over here, the solar control system that's gonna be linked up to the batteries that are in that closet. And actually they're gonna be doing construction off grid, is that correct? 100% off grid for the remainder of the project as soon as we can fire it up. All right, let's get over here into the lights so that we can make an actual video that looks like something that my TV production team is not gonna be totally pissed off at me for. Yeah. All right. Red face. Yeah, right. All right, so here we've got Manometer, Retrotech 5000. Retrotech also, sponsor of Home Diagnosis TV show. Yeah. Awesome, so excited. Uh, so what we do before we run our blower door test always is you're gonna run your check on your hoses to make sure that you're not about to test something that doesn't actually matter. So we run one of the hoses into the reference of one channel and the other hose into the reference of the other channel. And when we measure Pascals on both channels, you should see that. That is leveling out at 307-ish Pascals, and it's not falling. If it's falling, that means that there's a hole in my hose. Getting a hole in your hose is very, very easy. Don't do it. And if you do it, make sure that you know that it's there. So now we're gonna plug this back in. Get this turned on. Okay, now, uh, I'm gonna run this on manual and not program it because of something funny that happened earlier on. You can see that we've got almost no baseline pressure whatsoever. The difference between inside and outside is zero with the, uh, excuse me. Let me see how professional I am right now. Great. With the blower door completely sealed up, you can see that we have zero pascals difference between inside and outside. Before you run your test, you wanna know what you expect to see. So when you are filling out a blower door test form, it should be called enclosure tightness test, you have the date, location, you've got all of these conditions that you want to make sure that you keep track of. 41 degrees outside the calibration ring we're gonna use, I'm gonna put that in there. The time averaging, I generally always put at least 10 seconds for an average, that keeps people uh, happy that there's not some kind of a wind event that we just grabbed onto. Blower door reading, 0.6 quality control reading. I will explain what that is later. Condition floor area, condition volume, and the air changes per hour. Uh, now we're looking to succeed at the energy code, but also we're looking to succeed at beating Passive House, <laughs> which we will see about in one second. Let's go do this. Do when we get this blower door configured the way that I want it, I'm looking for a number that's 450 or less, if we can beat Passive House. 450-ish is 0.6 air changes per hour, and it also happens to be 5% uh, leakage based on the enclosure area. No whammies. That's Pascal's. So we're looking for 450, and we came in at less than 300. So now I'm gonna change my time average. So, initial reactions from the master builder. Say what? <laughs> that's yeah. good, you're pleased, right? That is, that's good. I, I think our goal from the beginning has been somewhere in the point, point 0.2 to point 0.4 range. That's, uh -huh. that's what we, we normally hit below 0.5. That's, that's the minimum goal, but. But at rough end? Uh, Okay. So yeah, if we've done our job on the outside, if we've done the, done the job right and we've done our air sealing on the exterior, when we finish it out, that, that number should not change much because it's all done already. Awesome. So here we are, 250 CFM at 50 Pascals. That is about 0.3 air changes per hour. Congratulations, Chris, I wanna shake your hand. Yes. You beat me already. Um, <laughs> Dry Vault is not the highest performance tool shed in the world anymore. It is now in North Carolina. Tune in next time for more from the Off-Grid Homestead with LG Squared Architects. Bring it.